Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. Um, I'm just figuring out how to do time lapse uh, in Caden Live. So uh, I've uh, recorded some video of me cleaning my resistors. It was very boring. It took hours, and uh, I, I cleaned the um, the sticker goo off the resistors, and I tested each one in a, my multimeter and uh, just made sure it was actually the right rating um, for the draw that it was in and I went through all of my 5% tolerance resistors and cleaned them all up so in the rest of this video you'll get to see me doing that really fast <laughs> and that's all this video is is me cleaning resistors and learning how to do time lapse in Caden Live so uh, now that I've introduced the video, let's see it. So uh, I'm uh, learning how to uh, record um, an audio track using a software tool called Audacity. Uh, I hope I'll be able to uh, integrate this into Caden Live um, so I can talk at you while I'm cleaning those resistors. Uh, I'm playing back at the moment at 2,000%. Sorry, yeah, 2,000% speed. So it's uh, it's much faster. It's due to take a bit over 15 minutes to show the full thing. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this and uh, just see that the audio levels are okay. Uh, so bear with me. Okay. I'm back. I suppose to you it looked like I didn't even leave. I'm just uh, narrating the uh, um, time lapse video of my resistor cleaning. I thought uh, since we've got <coughs> 15 minutes or so while the uh, video plays. I might tell you a little bit about what I've been reading lately. Um, um, just jump over to my uh, Kindle Cloud Reader. I've been reading a book called A Theory of Semiotics by Umberto Eco. It's about symbols and communication uh, I've only I've only read the first chapter I've got more to read of that and another book that I read just recently was uh, the creative act a way of being by uh, Rick Rubin Rick Rubin's big record producer from New York he uh, he's uh, produced a lot of of albums for some pretty big acts, you know Beastie Boys, Linkin Park. I think he started his career helping Johnny Cash. Pretty interesting dude. Uh, I saw an interview. Um, I saw an interview uh, with him recently as well. Yeah. One thing was interesting, he uh, he was vegan and it affected his health adversely, he had to start eating meat again to uh, have nu enough nutrition in his diet. I got a book called Limitless by a bloke called Jim Quick, he's a, a, a memory guy, a speed reading guy. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to reading that. I, I haven't read it yet, but I, I've got it. And uh, what a book called Awaken Your Genius by a guy called Ozan Varal. So, looking forward to reading that. I got this terrible book about data science 
there's some there's some really awful content that you can buy on Amazon and self-published books the quality can be just embarrassingly bad uh, and I got I got a cheapo book about data science and it was no good it, it was like uh, someone had just read the introductory page or <laughs> paragraph on, on a bunch of Wikipedia articles and then introduced some typos and some spelling mistakes and disfluencies it was awful and I uh, I did get one book it wasn't too bad it was uh, 101 of the most popular Excel formulas just trying to brush up on my Excel uh, I, I also I don't, I don't know if you've seen it but there's a there's a really great uh, a video from Joel Spolsky of Fault Creek Software fame uh, just giving you a rundown of how to use uh, Excel I'll, uh, I'll put that link in the uh, in the in the blog entry for this um, video Oh, there you go. And in in the in the best Joel Spolsky tradition, the uh, the video is called "You Suck at Excel" with Joel Spolsky. So there you go. Man, I read this book called Homo Deus. <coughs> it's uh, it's about the future of mankind. Uh, the author is uh, Yuval Noah Harari and uh, he's written a couple of books one of them was Homo Sapiens which is a history of mankind and then this one Homo Deus he calls it a brief history of tomorrow it's really quite fascinating it's, it's about uh, AI and what's going to happen to us when we create it uh, which I think is going to happen like this year, next year. It's kind of remarkable. I'm already using ChatGPT for everything. ChatGPT's told me how to make this video, told me how to do the time lapse, told me how to record this narration. I just asked it and it told me and it got it right. It's amazing. I, um, I have code, the book Code by Charles Petzold, um, and I'm a little bit annoyed because I, I seem to have purchased the first edition and I've heard that the second edition is, you know, much better than the first edition, so I've probably got to part with some money to get another copy. Um, I'm looking forward to reading that. I, I didn't read the first one uh, yet. I, I I have a dead tree version on my shelf. I might have flipped through it, but uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't given it a good read, and I think it should be pretty cool. You know, I got myself a copy of the Federalist Papers. The Federalist Papers are uh, eighty odd essays by the founding fathers of the United States, and they're basically. Uh, their sales pitch, they're pitching democracy to the states. Um, I learn about it uh, in a um, this cool like comic. Um, the the guy who does um, Saturday morning breakfast cereal, uh, his brother. Um, created this um, like uh, I want to say animated but not animated like what do they call it when they comics graphics yeah I'm trying to think what it was called I 
I might pop over there and see if I can find hmm. yeah it was like a um, Let's see if I can. Uh, uh, all right, well, uh, all right, just bear with me. Go into the history and search for democracy. Not not democracy. What about United? That doesn't seem to be there either. What about Federalist? No. About history. History is not a good word to search for in your history because history is a word that's used everywhere. Well, I give up on finding that comic right now. Another thing that I read recently was uh, magic words and how to use them by uh, Genevieve Davis which is a, it's a pen name. I don't know what the lady's real name is. 
she's from the UK and, uh, it's a pretty cool book it's yeah, I guess it's just basically positive thinking and, uh, it appealed to my postmodern sensibilities because uh, <coughs> she makes the point that uh, all narratives are wrong you know everything that you tell yourself it's always an oversimplification because uh, the reality of things is just way more complicated than we can imagine or, or know so she says well if we're going to be wrong we might as well be wrong telling ourselves a good story as wrong telling ourselves a bad story and uh, and she says even when you even when you have trouble believing it just can just insist on a, a charitable and happy uh, narrative for the, the things that are going on in your life and uh, you know if someone's annoying you rather than thinking that person's annoying me just think you know I really value that person and I'm so glad I have them in my life and uh, tell yourself a good story and then of course the magic is that uh, actually uh, people people come around and uh, they actually start to behave like the way you believe they behave so it's kind of amazing it, it seems to work frankly it doesn't sound like it should but my experience was you know it worked pretty much straight away kind of amazing really and uh, another book that I've read recently is The Prophet by uh, Kyle Gibran. The Prophet's really great. Kyle Gibran's really great too. And uh, I've got this cool book, it's called The, the Crypto Dictionary. It's just uh, little factoids about cryptography. And yeah, I read the real Anthony Fauci by uh, Bobby Kennedy Jr. Anyway, I'll tell you more about that, except that, uh, well, the video is over. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.